Good evening, my Trues Clues aficionados. I hope you all are doing well out there tonight, looking out for each other, taking care of yourself. If you see something, saying something. And tonight, I have my granddaughter with me to discuss a couple of cases. Her name is Tony. And we wanted to talk about some recent news that has come up on a couple of cold cases or old cases. Um, Natalie Holloway, as well as the Chris Watts case. And we'll take Natalie first, because I think we'll spend longer time on Chris. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a hearing that came forward with Justin Vandersloot recently um, for uh, charging Beth Holloway funds to locate her daughter. And apparently she wired him uh, money and gave him like $10,000 in cash. But then the information that came back was totally spotty. And then uh, the fact that he was in prison for killing a young Peruvian lady at the time this was all going on. While he was doing that, he was also working on the side, collecting a little extra money, dealing cocaine, which he got busted for as well. So what do you think about that? It's like he's totally getting away, basically just serving one sentence mm -hmm. for two killings because in this in peru where he's at you can only be charged 38 years for your whole lifetime any sentencing that you have to go to jail there so even though they agree to charge him with the charges for extraditing or what do you call that extorting the money extorting, yeah. uh, from beth holloway um he's sentenced that he was sentenced to his running concurrent to the murder of the young peruvian lady as well as the fact that he only got like seven or eight years for it because there was no um, proof to be able to hold him accountable for Beth Holloway. And in Aruba, time runs out on a murder. So the time has run out on Beth Holloway, even if they had evidence at this point in time, excuse me, on Natalie Holloway, even if they had evidence at this point in time, there would be no charges filed. There's nothing they can do right now. So do you think, that when he told the courts and Beth and the husband or the family mm -hmm. that um, he had thrown Beth's body into the ocean after trying to S.A. her. Mm -hmm. And when she refused the advances, he supposedly kicked her in the head, bludgeoned her with a rock, and then threw her in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like truth to you? To be honest, it really doesn't because you can say anything about the ocean because it's just lost, mm -hmm. basically. So it's like, who knows? Knowing that he only gets, um, what, 38 years, you said? Right. I feel like maybe he's just one of those... He might be one of those creepy guys who might just go back to the scene and, you know, like, that's why he's keeping her kind of private, not really giving her family Ooh, justice, you know? That like, is so talented. That just gives me chills when you said that. Totally. Yeah. Because he would probably try to relive that over again. Yeah. And in addition to the fact the way he killed this young Peruvian lady was basically the same way that he probably killed Natalie. Yeah. She was rejecting his advances. Mm -hmm. And then coming from an affluent background, used to getting what he wants when he wants it, mm -hmm. I think he would have reacted totally in anger in the situation. Mm -hmm. And then plus, since he kind of got away with it the first time, mm -hmm. I'm sure he was just like, oh, well. Yep. And he has the money to back it up. Mm -hmm. Uh, the thing that bothers me that I've been thinking about lately is um, they were acting like Natalie, which I don't know her and her friends never really said one way or the other, but like she just ran off to have sex with him when this all <laughs> first came out. Do you remember? They were yeah. like, yeah, she just ran off to go have sex with this guy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she wanted to be a doctor or a surgeon or something like that. That doesn't sound like that type of personality yeah, no. at all. Mm -mm. So I wonder if they didn't like drug her in the club. Uh, maybe. Because huh? she seemed a little pliable and they said she was extremely intoxicated when, yeah. when he took her away. Yeah, that is that. Yeah, that's so, a good <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, she would have been having fun. She was young. She wouldn't have thought of being roofied. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then she would have been, but the fact that she was able to fight him back, he says, I, you don't even, I can't even give any credence to what he says. Mm -hmm. It seems more to me like it would have been an instance of she was in GHB 
he got her to go off somewhere. He did whatever he wanted to her, and then he ended her. Mm-hmm. I don't think any of what he says is the truth. Mm-mm. And then he got, like you said, he got away with it. So why not do it again? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And this time in a different country where he obviously thought he was going to get away with it. Yeah. And he still, to me, feels extremely entitled because he's dealing cocaine in jail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's just not, yeah. Yeah. Because he knows his repercussions are not going to be all right like that. Yeah. So all I can hope is that, you know, that they say those Peruvian jails are as bad as they are, that it'll definitely yeah work out that way for him Mm -hmm. and then you know her family will get some kind of justice speaking of justice though um what do you think about the chris watts case is there justice being so there um it's like yes and no i like that he didn't get the death sentence really that way he Mm -hmm. could sit there and like how he says he still think or what is it dreams about his kids yelling or whatever that he says he's going through in his cell yeah i feel like he deserves all of that but as far as him having like pen pals all the time Mm -hmm. and all these weirdo girls yeah Mm -hmm. all these girls like contacting him and yeah i don't know so it's kind of iffy it's like he does he did get just or shenan and her kids definitely kind of got justice but they shouldn't allow him to have pen pals with other people i know i think the same thing too Mm -hmm. it's really creepy Mm -hmm. and i think that nicole is in there somewhere as well Mm -hmm. i don't think that they ever stop corresponding oh yeah no she definitely is going by another alias or something Mm -hmm. that way they're not Mm -hmm. showing that they're still talking and i think her family would totally assist her in that Mm -hmm. and then there's also been rumors that um she may have been pregnant with chris's kid as well Mm mm-hmm so if that's the case, I, if I was her, I would definitely be hiding. Yeah. But um, do you think that Chris Watts was beaten up recently? I hope he was. <laughs> I can only hope he gets sure. a beat down every time. It's just strange how the story came out. Mm-hmm. And then when I start looking it up to find more evidence, I'm not finding anything other no. than referring it back to when he was in here in Colorado. Yeah. And there's not really, usually they're kind of quick on posting pictures of at least a scene of where mm-hmm. it happened in the jail mm-hmm. or what he looked like after or him on a stretch or something right but there hasn't been anything so and i know he has a little job in there now i don't know what it is though mm-hmm. but i don't think it's probably around a lot of people yeah um and i do think that it's still a, he's still in there for life and i don't know if he'll serve up to life or if somebody gets him because there probably is a number on his head. Mm-hmm. I hope somebody gets him. <laughs> yep, and uh, I hope that Nicole gets her comeuppance. And if there's a baby there, I feel sorry for that baby, but so be it. Mm-hmm. I don't think that, I don't even know. I, I think somehow she was in collusion in the whole thing, even mm-hmm. though they try to say it's not. She probably she could have turned a tail and run at the first sign to get out of it, so she didn't have to go to jail. Yeah. That doesn't mean that she wasn't involved in it. And he'd be the last person to say anything if oh, she yeah. was. Yeah, no. Mm. Mm-hmm. But even then, I've kind of heard stories of him telling his old sailmates that she was involved, mm-hmm. that she, you know, took the kids. Or He seems to be quite free with the information I mean, now that he's locked up. Know, isn't it? It? <laughs> it's like just telling yeah. everybody everything. I'm like, this woman he's corresponding with, telling her everything. Yeah. Oh, yes. And that one part we were talking about earlier, how when they would be fighting or she'd be shouting at him. And Shanann would be yelling that he would be envisioning just killing her, Mm -hmm. that he would daydream about that all the time. That is so chilling to think that you would think you would leave your person at that point in time for -hmm. your own sanity. You know what I mean? And he could have just simply walked away from the wife and the kids. But I think it's the whole money thing again, Mm -hmm. because money seems to always come into this situation. I don't think he wanted to pay child support especially if he Mm. thought there was a new baby coming yeah that just destroys his little idea of having his little idea family yeah like you said he just wanted to go into the relationship with nicole with no strings attached Mm -hmm. so supposedly (laughs) well best of luck to him we'll see what happens with all of that so do you have any final thoughts on the cases for today 
Um, I just hope there's a little bit more justice served <laughs> in both. <laughs> I kind of, I want, I, I'm just hoping that Jordan doesn't make it through to the end of whatever his sentence is because mm -hmm. it wasn't even 38 years. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, then I'll be good. Because if he gets out again, considering that he does have the amount of money that him and his family have, I mm -hmm. only see something bad happening again. Oh, yeah. For you sure. know what I mean? If it's already happened twice. Yeah. And it's like the Murdoch family, that man who's just going to jail now, he's trying to fight everything. But if he didn't have the status and the money that he had in his town, mm -hmm. those his family members could possibly still be alive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So with that... I hope you guys have a good night. We'll see you on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed meeting my granddaughter and have a good evening. We'll see you next Monday. Take care now. Okay, I'm pretty much.